Hi Mum. Hiya. Thank you for coming all the way from Wales just to help me clean. <laughs> it's a pleasure my dear. You're doing quite well. Thank you. <laughs> Got some mouse traps down. They're the sort that you can get rid of the mouse afterwards. I don't know where I'm going to put the mouse afterwards but I don't really want to kill them or deal with the half dead ones. So my mother is trying to help me clean and um, yeah she's just scraping the lime scale from the kettle of which there is quite a lot. I yesterday went up to Ollie's house, Ollie the Bean, and uh, me and my mum helped him clean his garden. Unfortunately I'm all covered in scratches now because it was brambles and I was just stomping on them but I did do quite a lot but apparently he's got foxes in his garden. I've just got mice and moths in my house, no foxes inside the house as far as I know. Don't think so anyway. I don't think my mouse traps are going to catch any foxes if there are any. So I've been cleaning my house with my mum and this morning we found an old fox fur stole that was absolutely covered in moth things. Bits of moth, moth everywhere. So we did get rid of that. It wasn't my box fur stole anyway, it was just sort of stuck there. So uh, that was nice. So at least I know where the moths are coming from. I'm not sure about the mice. The mice are a mystery. I'm not sure whether they're mice or rats but I've got both sorts of traps. If they're rats, then they're dead. I'm sorry, I like pet rats, but not rats in my house. If they're mice, then I've been more humane. I've got humane catching things. And then I've got to find somewhere to release them into the wild, which, I don't know, I think they might come back if I release them quite close to the house. So I don't really know what to do with them when they do get caught, if they got caught. I, th I hope they get caught. Anyway, cleaning my house. Clean! It'll be shiny and stuff really soon, maybe.